When I wake up in the mornings, I get excited to paint crash helmets. That's my thing, I love it, I'm lucky I found it, and that's what I do. Raced carts for three years, four years, tops, did a season of British Championships. And even back then though, I had a plain white, standard AGV karting helmet, and I always, always wanted it painted. It was just something that I just was always obsessed with. I used to print the helmet templates off that I found online and I would just get my box of pencils and I would just draw away. Just hours and hours and hours. A few years out, my dad got us a old school Yamaha R6 track bike. It just stemmed from there and yeah, I'm really happy with what we did in bike racing, like I, I loved it. Traveling the country, racing super bikes, it's like the coolest thing for, for me. So we had so much fun, we got some good results and memories I always cherish, like doing that with my dad. When I used to prank my helmets, I, I always kept them because I thought one day I'm going to do this. And I think it was 2015, I was in Swindon of all places with my girlfriend. I think I talked about it so much and I think she just turned around and said, said to me, why don't you just stop talking about it and just do it? And that night I think I went home, I ordered compressor, <laughs> I ordered airbrush guns, I didn't really know what I was buying, I just ordered stuff. Quite budget stuff with eBay and I just started doing it, simple as that. I just took these helmets, I just masked them up, I started keying them down, I would just paint them. Eventually I put one up on uh, Facebook, it got loads of attention. That looks really good, oh, that looks absolutely mega, I didn't know you were doing this, um, fancy painting mine. And before I knew it, genuinely, there was probably about 15, 20 helmets I painted for all these lads around certain bike racing paddocks. It's just with anything in life you do, you're gonna get better with practice. I, I invested in some better kit, did a lot more research. I started to really get more intricate with the things I was doing. That is how I got into it. To me, a good design is something that's got a lot of depth to it. Something that also has a little personal touch of yours in there. After time, that's what identifies you on the racetrack. It's like in Formula One, the only part of a driver you see is the crash helmet. Same as MotoGP. The suit is full of sponsors and the team's colours, but that crash helmet, that's you. That's your little bit of identity on a racetrack. That, to me, is what makes him so fascinating and so cool and so meaningful. I don't particularly follow other painters. I find if you do that, you can kind of veer yourself too much their way. With any form of art, you can probably do that, can't you? So I try and just keep what I do, what I do. You have your own style, I think, and uh, I would say you could look at one of my helmets and know that I painted it if you follow my work. I like to be the painter that has got a connection with people. Every single crash helmet I've painted is special to me. It's every little one's got a story behind it. Who they are, how I met them, what they race, where they want to go, what they want to do, and that's, that's exciting to me. You're dealing with someone that's in it who loves motorsport, loves racing, has loved it since he was a little boy. Like a lot of things in life, you do it because you love it. And hey, if I can make a living out of it, happy days. To me, that's a win. That's why I will always, always, always make sure that I produce quality. The very, very best I can do. I mean, I can spend the last day on painting a helmet just on touching a helmet up. It's done, it's good to go, it's ready, but I would spend half a day to a day on sharpening it up, sharpening the points, doing the edges, making sure OCD, call it what you want, being a bit of a perfectionist, I don't know. I want to look at it before it leaves and think, God, that does look incredible. That's how I want them to feel. I want it to blow their mind.